All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know what today is, it is January 22nd. I did just look at the calendar. But today is the day that Vemcast applications officially open. This is my friend Juan. Hello. Um, we're both applying to vet school this cycle, so we decided we're gonna open up our applications together today. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go on the Vemcast website, and from there you're gonna click on the Vemcast application button, and you can go ahead and create an account, which is what we're doing right now. So that's just gonna take a couple minutes. Hang out with us. Like. Yeah, I don't even know what like where to go or anything like that. It's like uh, just I think it's just like your basic information right yeah. now that it wants. Um, but just so you guys can look at this. Right, so if you are seeing what I'm seeing, it just says personal information, academic history, supporting information, and program materials. Um so we're just gonna like go through this and see what we can do right now. Um, if you didn't watch my last video, the date that you can actually submit it isn't going to be till May. Um, and that's when the schools are going to publish their applications too. But the application is officially open today. So you can start with all the basic information and it's sort of tedious sometimes. So at least you can have this out of the way before the schools actually open up their part. I don't think the essays are up yet. I, don't think, I think a lot that's of just are that's just part of the schools. Um, and it's not application. The deadline isn't until the fifteenth. Yeah, it's of, not until uh, September fifteenth. So you have like a long time to procrastinate <laughs> and not do it until the last minute. So well, I'm definitely not going to procrastinate. <laughs> I'm, so right now, um, I'm looking at the academic history one, and it just everything you've done like high school colleges attended transcript and en entry which obviously i want to enter my transcript until after the summer semester um and my last 45 and all that that will be calculated mm -hmm. there i'm taking the gre in march when are you taking it probably at the same time march. i'll probably do it in march and in the summer as well we take two, two times there's do. well I, I don't know how it works oh there's what? this thing called ad program, I don't know what that means. Oh. What is that? I don't know what that means. Wait, which one are you on? You're on personal information? On my application next to it, it says history. ad program. Like, program uh, materials, yeah. ad program. If you've done this application before and you know what that means, comment <laughs> below because we're obviously lost. You have not selected any programs to apply to ad program. That might be like the school. Yeah, right? I think it's the school, so I'm looking at University of Florida. Yeah, there are currently no available programs at the moment. Okay, so we got that figured out. Program is a school. Possibly, possibly. Even then, we don't know. Skip, Skip for now. now. <laughs> I need to see that button. So no. um, personal information, you know, obviously, like everything about yourself, your identity, which I would not be sharing here. <laughs> <laughs> and supporting information oh so you can get your recommendations done now and you can also get all like the experiences that you have so far you can put that up now um and any achievements that you've accomplished mm -hmm. which i know sometimes this is also very tedious like hearing from past applicants that this just takes a really long time to do so you can also just get that early now i know i'll be doing that 
but that's just basically what's open on the application. What's your plan? <laughs> My plan is to start on the supporting information and do all like the hours because apparently that's like the most tedious is getting all your hours in. And so you go to add an experience? Yeah. And it's just like what counts as an experience, like what, what qualifies for everything. That's the most tedious part. Like, what do you put everything under? From what I've heard. Um, but other than that, I think I need to do the like the the transcripts for like you know dual enrollment and yeah. all that stuff and personal information. I feel like that's easy to get through. Yeah, essays <laughs> is the one that's like. Oh wait, there are some essays? The essays, okay. the general essays for Where the are those at? The application. Personal information. Personal? Really? Personal, yeah. I feel like it's that's crazy. Party. Okay. Essays. So there are some essays available, but not some schools have like their own essays. So these are just like the general bedcast ones. Well, I think the way it works is that these, yeah, these are the general ones yeah. and then yeah, they have their own specific ones that you still have to do, so yeah, it's, yeah. But they'll be taking a look at these too. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah. So the three questions are, am I allowed to say them? Yeah, okay, you can, you so can, everybody has these uh, essay questions. The three essay questions are, there are many career choices within the veterinary profession. What are your future career goals and why? Do you want to read the second one? In what ways do veterinarians contribute to society and what do you hope to contribute? And then the last question is, consider the breadth of society which veterinarians serve. What attributes do you believe are essential to be successful within the veterinary profession? Of these attributes, which do you possess and how have you demonstrated these in the past? These are some heavy essay questions. I also feel like they're kind of general. They're very general, but, but you know. You want to be specific to what you do. Yeah. So that's sort of the application. I'm definitely feeling the stress right now. Kind of scary that we're already opening it and a year from now we'll either be invited back to interviews yeah. or not <laughs> and finding out the missions, but that's fine. I'll take you through this process with me. And maybe a year from now we can submit our applications together. Yeah, too. You, yeah you so, never know if you'll see us again yeah. doing the same thing. Um, but thank you guys for watching. We'll do a little fun clip. We actually took the scooters here and we're going to take the scooters back. Yeah. Um, there's these new scooters on campus called Spin. So if you don't know what that is, get yourself a Spin scooter. They're really fun. Um, I'll keep you guys up to date on what I'm doing with this application. But right now I'm definitely just going to be filling out that personal information, program materials, academic history that I've already completed. Um, and I'm definitely going to start working on those essays and see what I can do with those and have some people peer review them. Yeah, Nubia is probably going to get really far. <laughs> She's been talking about this since, what, like last year? Stressing me out. <laughs> I've been asking people that have already applied, like what has the process been like since I was a freshman. Yeah. So, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, we'll We'll see how everything goes. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you are applying the cycle, I wish you all the best of luck. We're all in this together. And I know it's super stressful, but we can do this, all right? Bye. Yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> you are watching this. Like, this is <laughs> <laughs> I don't know.